Hi everyone, this is Tia. I did a video yesterday about fertility issues and my feelings on them, and I was pretty sure I didn't say my name, so I wanted to do so today. So, I just wanted to give you some background on me and some information so that you could know a little bit more about me and my struggles with fertility. As I've stated before, I've watched many videos about fertility and some very positive stories that kind of gave me the courage to actually um, do my own video about my own struggles. And the thing that I love about YouTube and I'm beginning to discover over the last two videos is I can say whatever I want to say uninterrupted and you guys listen. And if you don't want to listen, you don't watch the video. So, the most important thing about these kind of issues is you just really need someone to listen, which I stated before in my last video. But I wanted to get into some of the things, like I said before, about me. Now, my issues that relate to fertility are that I have tubal issues. My right tube is blocked, and then my left tube doesn't function at all. So, Unlike some people that have ovulation issues where they can take a pill or they can also do shots to regulate their cycle, for me, the only option right at this moment is that we need to go forward with in vitro. In addition to that, me and my husband, both being African American, have issues with um, being both sickle cell carriers, which made us have to take a special test that would allow us to test the embryos before they re-implant them in me to make sure that they're healthy embryos. So the road for us is challenging and difficult, but we're really up for the challenge that we're going to move forward. And it's a little overwhelming at times, but that's definitely something that we want to conquer. In addition to um, the issues that we have when it comes to fertility, we did get a call from the lab today from a very nice lady who was very very helpful and explained everything in great detail, which I absolutely love. Um, her name was Jessica from our lab in Jersey. She explained to us that, um, you know, what the process was, what they did, and how everything worked, and we were just very, very happy. So what they did was they test, what they do is they develop a test that will um, identify sickle cell in each Cell. So what they do is they break off one piece of a cell um, off of each embryo and they send it to the lab and then the lab, what the lab does is they actually test this particular cell with a 90% accuracy that we will have a healthy child without any sickle cell disease, which is the optimal result for the both of us. So just with all of these, this information swimming around, I have learned so much about you know, just the process of actually having a child, um, so much more so than the average person, I feel, in my own opinion. I did not know there was so much that entailed to actually having a child. So it's good information to know, and I'm happy that I know it, but um, it's just a lot to consume at one point in time, and sometimes it makes it very difficult for um me to go through and my husband as well um so hopefully eventually you guys will get to meet him because he's just really wonderful and he's so positive with the situation and so helpful that i actually absolutely adore him and just he's just such a wonderful person and i'm so happy about that so i guess you know i'm not really um going to be long-winded i guess for the time being but i just wanted to give you some information about my own issues that i have and um so that you can know about me this is for family friends or just anyone that happens to come upon my videos and i've already got a few hits from my last video and i just want to thank everyone that looked at my first video and hope to see you will definitely see more videos to come from me Thanks a lot, and like I said at the end of my first video, to all the people that have to be on the fertility journey or road, whichever one you want to call it, please be encouraged, and I wish you all the best. Goodbye.